Aluminium oxide IUPAC name or aluminum oxide American English is a chemical compound of aluminium and oxygen with the chemical formula aluminium oxide. It is the most commonly occurring of several aluminium oxides, and specifically identified as aluminium oxide. It is commonly called alumina regardless of whether the element is spelled aluminum or aluminium, and may also be called aloxide, aloxite, or alundum depending on particular forms or applications. It occurs naturally in its crystalline polymorphic phase alpha aluminium oxide as the mineral corundum, varieties of which form the precious gemstones ruby and sapphire. Aluminium oxide is significant in its use to produce aluminium metal, as an abrasive owing to its hardness, and as a refractory material owing to its high melting point. Natural occurrence Corundum is the most common naturally occurring crystalline form of aluminium oxide. Rubies and sapphires are gem quality forms of corundum, which owe their characteristic colors to trace impurities. Rubies are given their characteristic deep red color and their laser qualities by traces of chromium. Sapphires come in different colors given by various other impurities, such as iron and titanium. Properties Aluminium oxide is an electrical insulator but has a relatively high thermal conductivity 30 for a ceramic material. Aluminium oxide is insoluble in water. In its most commonly occurring crystalline form, called corundum or alpha-aluminium oxide, its hardness makes it suitable for use as an abrasive and as a component in cutting tools. Aluminium oxide is responsible for the resistance of metallic aluminium to weathering. Metallic aluminium is very reactive with atmospheric oxygen, and a thin passivation layer of aluminium oxide 4 nanometers thickness forms on any exposed aluminium surface. This layer protects the metal from further oxidation. The thickness and properties of this oxide layer can be enhanced using a process called anodizing. A number of alloys, such as aluminium bronzes, exploit this property by including a proportion of aluminium in the alloy to enhance corrosion resistance. The aluminium oxide generated by anodizing is typically amorphous, but discharge-assisted oxidation processes such as plasma electrolytic oxidation result in a significant proportion of crystalline aluminium oxide in the coating, enhancing its hardness. Aluminium oxide was taken off the United States Environmental Protection Agency's chemicals lists in 1988. Aluminium oxide is on the EPA. S. Toxics release inventory list if it is a fibrous form. Amphoteric nature Aluminium oxide is an amphoteric substance, meaning it can react with both acids and bases, such as hydrofluoric acid and sodium hydroxide, acting as an acid with a base and a base with an acid, neutralizing the other and producing a salt. Aluminium oxide plus 6 HF2 aluminium fluoride plus 3 H2O Aluminium oxide plus 2 NaOH plus 3 H2O2 Nol 4 sodium aluminate Structure The most common form of crystalline aluminium oxide is known as corundum, which is the thermodynamically stable form. The oxygen ions form a nearly hexagonal close-packed structure with the aluminium ions filling two-thirds of the octahedral interstices. Each Al3 plus center is octahedral. In terms of its crystallography, corundum adopts a trigonal brevets lattice with a space group of R3C number 167 in the international tables. The primitive cell contains two formula units of aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide also exists in other phases, including the cubic gamma and eta phases, the monoclinic theta phase, the hexagonal chi phase, the orthorhombic kappa phase and the delta phase that can be tetragonal or orthorhombic. Each has a unique crystal structure and properties. Cubic gamma aluminium oxide has important technical applications. The so-called beta aluminium oxide proved to be Nol 11017. Molten aluminium oxide near the melting temperature is roughly two thirds tetrahedral, i.e. two thirds of the Al are surrounded by four oxygen neighbors, and one third five coordinated, very little production aluminium hydroxide minerals are the main component of bauxite, the principal ore of aluminium. 
A mixture of the minerals comprise bauxite ore, including gibbsite aluminium hydroxide, bomite gamma -alo -o, and diaspor alpha -alo -o, along with impurities of iron oxides and hydroxides, quartz and clay minerals. Bauxites are found in laterites. Bauxite is purified by the Baer process, aluminium oxide plus H2O plus NaOH null 4 aluminium hydroxide plus NaOH null 4 except for silicon oxide, the other components of bauxite do not dissolve in base. Upon filtering the basic mixture, iron 3 oxide is removed. When the Baer liquor is cooled, aluminium hydroxide precipitates, leaving the silicates in solution. Null 4 NaOH plus aluminium hydroxide The solid aluminium hydroxide gibbsite is then calcined heated to over 1100 degrees Celsius to give aluminium oxide, 2 aluminium hydroxide aluminium oxide plus 3 H2 Auth product aluminium oxide tends to be multi-phase, i.e., consisting of several phases of aluminium oxide rather than solely corundum. The production process can therefore be optimized to produce a tailored product. The type of phases present affects, for example, the solubility and pore structure of the aluminium oxide product which, in turn, affects the cost of aluminium production and pollution control, for its application as an electrical insulator in integrated circuits, where the conformal growth of a thin film is a prerequisite and the preferred growth mode is atomic layer deposition. Aluminium oxide films can be prepared by the chemical exchange between trimethylaluminum Al CH3 3 and H2O, 2 Al CH3 3 plus 3H2O aluminium oxide plus 6CH4H2O in the above reaction can be replaced by ozone O3 as the active oxidant and the following reaction then takes place, 2 Al CH3 3 plus O3 aluminium oxide plus 3C2H6 The aluminium oxide films prepared using O3 show 10 to 100 times lower leakage current density compared with those prepared by H2O. Known as alundum infused form or aloxite in the mining, ceramic, and materials science communities, aluminium oxide finds wide use. Annual world production of aluminium oxide in 2015 was approximately 115 million tons, over 90% of which is used in the manufacture of aluminium metal. The major uses of speciality aluminium oxides are in refractories, ceramics, polishing and abrasive applications. Large tonnages of aluminium hydroxide, from which alumina is derived, are used in the manufacture of zeolites, coating titania pigments, and as a fire retardant, smoke suppressant. Applications over 90% of the aluminium oxide, normally termed smelter-grade alumina SGA, produced is consumed for the production of aluminium, usually by the hall arrow process. The remainder, normally called speciality alumina is used in a wide variety of applications which reflect its inertness, temperature resistance and electrical resistance. Filler, being fairly chemically inert and white, aluminium oxide is a favored filler for plastics. Aluminium oxide is a common ingredient in sunscreen and is sometimes also present in cosmetics such as blush, lipstick, and nail polish. Glass, many formulations of glass have aluminium oxide as an ingredient. Catalysis, aluminium oxide catalyses a variety of reactions that are useful industrially. In its largest scale application, aluminium oxide is the catalyst in the Claus process for converting hydrogen sulfide waste gases into elemental sulfur in refineries. It is also useful for dehydration of alcohols to alkenes. Aluminium oxide serves as a catalyst support for many industrial catalysts, such as those used in hydrodesulfurization and some ziegler nata polymerizations. Purification – Aluminium oxide is widely used to remove water from gas streams. Abrasive – Aluminium oxide is used for its hardness and strength. It is widely used as an abrasive, including as a much less expensive substitute for industrial diamond. Many types of sandpaper use aluminium oxide crystals. In addition, its low heat retention and low specific heat make it widely used in grinding operations, particularly cut-off tools. As the powdery abrasive mineral aloxite, it is a major component, along with silica, of the Q-tip chalk used in billiards. Aluminium oxide powder is used in some CD, DVD polishing and scratch repair kits. Its polishing qualities are also behind its use in toothpaste. Paint 
Aluminium oxide flakes are used in paint for reflective decorative effects, such as in the automotive or cosmetic industries. Composite fiber – Aluminium oxide has been used in a few experimental and commercial fiber materials for high-performance applications e.g., Fiber FP, Nextel 610, Nextel 720. Alumina nanofibers in particular have become a research field of interest. Personal armor – Some body armors utilize alumina ceramic plates, usually in combination with aramid or UHMWPE backing to achieve effectiveness against even most rifle threats. Alumina ceramic armor is readily available to most civilians in jurisdictions where it is legal, but is not considered military grade. Abrasion protection – Aluminium oxide can be grown as a coating on aluminium by anodizing or by plasma electrolytic oxidation see the properties above both the hardness and abrasion resistant characteristics of the coating originate from the high strength of aluminium oxide yet the porous coating layer produced with conventional direct current anodizing procedures is within a 60 to 70 rockwell hardness c range which is comparable only to hardened carbon steel alloys but considerably inferior to the hardness of natural and synthetic corundum Instead, with plasma electrolytic oxidation, the coating is porous only on the surface oxide layer while the lower oxide layers are much more compact than with standard DC anodizing procedures and present a higher crystallinity due to the oxide layers being remelted and densified to obtain alpha aluminium oxide clusters with much higher coating hardness values circa 2000 Vickers hardness. Alumina is used to manufacture tiles which are attached inside pulverized fuel lines and flue gas ducting on coal-fired power stations to protect high wear areas. They are not suitable for areas with high impact forces as these tiles are brittle and susceptible to breakage. Other, in lighting, transparent aluminium oxide is used in some sodium vapor lamps. Aluminium oxide is also used in preparation of coating suspensions in compact fluorescent lamps. In chemistry laboratories, aluminium oxide is a medium for chromatography, available in basic pH 9.5, acidic pH 4.5 when in water, and neutral formulations. Health and medical applications include it as a material in hip replacements and birth control pills. It is used as a dosimeter for radiation protection and therapy applications for its optically stimulated luminescence properties. Aluminium oxide is an electrical insulator used as a substrate silicon on sapphire for integrated circuits but also as a tunnel barrier for the fabrication of superconducting devices such as single electron transistors and superconducting quantum interference devices squids. Aluminum oxide being a dielectric with relatively large band gap is used as an insulating barrier in capacitors. Insulation for high temperature furnaces is often manufactured from aluminium oxide. Sometimes the insulation has varying percentages of silica depending on the temperature rating of the material. The insulation can be made in blanket, board, brick and loose fiber forms for various application requirements. Small pieces of aluminium oxide are often used as boiling chips in chemistry. It is also used to make spark plug insulators, using a plasma spray process and mixed with titania, it is coated onto the braking surface of some bicycle rims to provide abrasion and wear resistance. Most ceramic eyes on fishing rods are circular rings made from aluminium oxide. See also Aluminium oxide nanoparticle Charged aerosol release experiment care. List of alumina refineries Micro pulling down Transparent alumina Bauxite tailings References External links CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards